the, uh, the vitamin D and type 2 diabetes study, also known as the D2D study, um, was really a large national um, clinical trial. It's one of the first of its kind. Pennington Biomedical Research Center sheds fresh light on the connection between vitamin D and type 2 diabetes. The thought process was, well, what if we give people supplementation and, and correct some of the low vitamin D? Would that help you know, prevent diabetes? So with this particular study, we're actually now taking that uh, observation and looking forward. Dr. Shaw was one of the researchers investigating this relationship. Most study participants who received the extra vitamin D developed diabetes at the same rate as the group who did not, with a notable exception. In a very small subset of people, they looked at those people who had a vitamin D level 12 or less. And so the majority of people in the study had a vitamin D of around the mid-20s. In that population, there was what we call a signal where there was a potential that those people actually had um, uh, less the development of diabetes um, when, you know, in, when they took vitamin D. To get enough vitamin D, dietitians at Pennington Biomedical's Metabolic Kitchen suggest adding foods like fish, milk, eggs, and even mushrooms to your diet. For more information on the D2D study or to check out our current and upcoming studies, visit our website at www.pbrc.edu.